Good afternoon, everybody. For those of you tuning in from regional offices or who are visiting the head office today who have not worked with me directly before, my name is Russ Cunningham and I'm the National Communications Manager here at Sony Music Australia. I sincerely apologise for not being able to attend this meeting in person today, but nonetheless, I am here to talk to you about the value my role as a Communications Manager can have within our organisation. The points you see in front of you are paramount within my role. Having a communications manager to make sure these communication types and points are used for properly and frequently means communication within the organisation will be more honest, open, to the point and will be less likely to offend. I will now present how using these points and avoiding the negatives will lead to a higher level of professional communication within this organisation, which will in turn directly lead to an increase in employee morale and productivity. Those who have a greater awareness of their own actions as well as their own words can not only communicate at a higher level and get their point across more effectively, they also tend to have the ability to read the actions and movements behind the words of others. The ability to send messages in a non-verbal as well as not verbal sense is of the highest importance when it comes to professional communication. Showing respect and common courtesy to those you are communicating with goes a long way and is often overlooked. As a trained communications manager, it is my job to see the nervous habits and tics that employees may be doing when trying to communicate effectively. I can provide training and exercises on how to stem these habits so as many distractions are removed from our daily communication as possible. Non-verbal communication habits like contradicting your body language with what you're actually saying, substituting facial expressions for words, and complementing your words with a certain tone of voice can be misconstrued in an uncountable amount of ways when interpreted by your listener. As a communications manager, it is my job to make sure non-verbal communication is used effectively, and I'm here to show you how. Listening is a five-step process. Receiving, understanding, remembering, evaluating, and responding are things we all do every time we listen to something. We do often do these five steps so quickly that we're completely unaware we're actually going through them. As a communications manager, I would like to train our employees to pay more attention to these steps. It's important to think about how and why we do them so that we can change our bad habits. Analyzing these steps together will make sure these five steps are each completed with 100% effectiveness, so our company communication improves between each other as well as to our customers. Communication is used within organizations mainly for passing along information, ideas, processes, and plans so that employees can complete their tasks properly. However, communication is also used within organisations for motivation. Not only can we train managers and employees on motivational speaking to increase employee morale, we can also train staff from the top down on strategies for improving organisation communication as a whole. With globalisation happening at a faster rate than ever, companies having to compete with a fast moving world on an international platform. We can train our organisation to improve the flow of communication and to decrease the amount of unnecessary information provided. This will allow us to make faster decisions and remain more competitive. The first thing we need to do when improving organisational communication is to look at how we operate meetings. Effective meetings have a clearly defined agenda, are a good use of company time, and are participant friendly and promote collaboration. Sometimes meetings can run over time or are completely unnecessary due to a number of things such as a lack of time management, lack of decision making and too much off-topic communication. As a communications manager, I will provide tips on how to make sure meetings are efficient and effective, as well as the type of information that would necessitate a meeting as opposed to information that would better communicated via other methods of communication, such as an email or a quick memo to staff. These basic tips will cut down unnecessary meetings and free up a lot of time for us to be more productive. Finally, avoiding common and basic communication barriers is a great first step towards a more professional work environment where employees feel they are listened to and respected. Avoiding jargon, slang and negative language makes sure everyone you are speaking to understands what you are saying. Basic communication barriers, as well as more advanced points like avoiding non-verbal communication barriers, keeping employees interested and avoiding confrontation can be further explored in training. Thank you for allowing me the time to present this information to you. On pending your approval, I'll be in touch with HR managers from all around the offices within Sony Music Australia 
to schedule training around the aforementioned points so that all of our employees and our organisation as a whole can receive the benefits of effective and professional communication. Thank you very much.